Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here. Thank you for joining me for today's video. Today I'm really really excited because I am going to be vlogging for probably about a week. I have loads of exciting things going on this week and I really really wanted to share them all with you so I hope you enjoy. I've just got ready, I'm heading out in a minute, I'm going to go to, I think I'm going to go to Home Bargains, show you around Home Bargains. I need to get my food shop as well so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm just now having any checked see if I've got any lipstick on my teeth, but I haven't, so that's good. Also, when I come back, I'm going to be doing my nails. Um, I have skincare stuff to show you. Um, I also, on Tuesday, just gone, I went to Bicester Village, you know, just outside um, London. And, oh, it was so lovely to just get off the island and go for a day out. But I did... Um, have a little bit of a spend up i got a little bit overexcited. i did get bargains though always bargains so i also want to share with you everything that i got from there it's like an outlet designer place um so i want to show you all the bargains that i got there so right now i'm going to go make myself an iced coffee and head off to home bargains right coffee time look at this iced coffee cup that i got from starbucks when i was on my way back from vista village i absolutely love it it's got these like colorful little Little dots on it and then like the colorful straw um so i'm going to make my iced coffee in this to use my iced coffee today i am actually going to use this Javi liquid microdose coffee this is the first time i've ever used anything like this and it's basically like a shot of coffee it's really really highly concentrated coffee as we can see ollie has already used it and stained the bottle which i specifically asked him not to do so that's great um, but he did say that uh, he is going to be using it for the gym and he said it gave him a really, really good boost. Um, but yeah, you basically use like one or two teaspoons in like water or milk to get like an iced latte or iced coffee. Right, I'm going to add my ice in here. This is my big ice pack from Amazon. I love this one so much. I'll leave it linked down below if you're interested. But it's really good because look at the size of those ice cubes so when you've got like a big coffee cup like this it fills it up nice and easy and it keeps your coffee cold for so long so i'm actually going to put three i know that's quite a lot and then you're supposed to add i think you add the milk in first or the water in first before you add the coffee and you can use obviously any milk with it i am just using semi-skim but you can use like oat milk coconut milk anything like that so i'm going to fill up my Nice coffee jar and then because it's quite a big one i am going to add like maybe one and a half teaspoons of this I'm really excited to see i'm going to just estimate it by pouring it in but i'm excited to see what it's going to look like when we pour it see how thick it is also it's like slightly thicker than if you were to make like a normal coffee and then that is like how easy it is to make the coffee so you can see the coffee in there um, and then I'm going to add my vanilla syrup, so I'm just going to pour that on top, just like a little bit in there, and then mix it up. I'm just going to use my straw to mix it up. They also did send over some straws, which I'll show you just now in a sec. But yeah, mix it up. Oh, that looks quite strong actually. <laughs> that does look quite strong, but then I do have the ice cubes in there as well, which will melt down a bit and obviously make it a little bit weaker. Um, but that does look nice and how easy was that i didn't even need to boil the kettle i didn't need to make an espresso shot literally just milk pour this in and then you've got yourself a coffee um so i'll put the lid on that so they also do straws as well i'll leave all this link down below if you're interested and if they if i've got a discount code or anything i can't remember if i have but if i have i'll also leave that link down below so these are the straws that they do they're really really nice chunky like metal straws obviously really good for like the environment and everything and then you also get a little straw cleaner in there so yeah i'm really really excited about this and i definitely think this will be something that we will like keep using because also if you're like out and about you could also you just take this with you. It's really easy to like take out. Right, I want to try out this iced coffee and then I'm going to take it with me in the car. Oh, you managed to get the lid on. Ollie's managed to like get the lid. But look at the straw. It's so wedged because of all the ice I put in there. But I do like it when the ice melts a bit because it does like, um, what's the word? Water Dilute the drink a little bit. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh my, that's nice, isn't it? It tastes a lot better than 
the when I normally make an iced coffee, I either make it out of the coffee machine with a little um, Nespresso one, or I make it from granules. Oh, it says on the package, it already showed me, it says on the packaging, packs a punch. <laughs> so we will see if I am like, bouncing off, bouncing off the walls later. But the taste is amazing and actually it's not too strong. Like this has come out really nice. But obviously I've got a lot of milk in there. You can make it with anything really. That is good. Ollie's just making himself a hot one now. What do you do? Just pour, no, um. that's not boiled. <laughs> Ollie, Ollie's like trying to get involved on the video and make himself a cup of coffee and he just poured the kettle and it's not even hot. Okay, off we go to Home Bargains and get my shopping. I'm very excited because I have a new car mount so I'm able to like vlog in the car which I love. Um, I absolutely love watching people's like car vlogs. I just find them really relaxing and people are like really chatty aren't they when they're in the car talking. Um, so I'm bringing you along with me and I wanted a little bit of a story oh that's really shaky there might be some technical like difficulties obviously I haven't used a car mount before so I'm not exactly sure how good it's gonna be but it looks like it's shaking around all over the place I am um, the road where I am is being resurfaced which is pretty much the whole of the Isle of Wight always always being resurfaced so there's like roadworks everywhere. There's always like traffic, even though it's a tiny island, always the same. And also I hope like the lighting is okay and stuff. Anyway, um, let me go on to my little story time because it's kind of linked to the video and like at the end of the video. Um, so I have bought a new car, I'm very excited about it. Also for this vlog, make sure you get yourself a cup of tea because where it's a weekly vlog, vlog? <laughs> Where it's a weekly vlog, it is gonna be a long one. I thought I want to kind of change my channel a bit where I do like one long vlog a month of all like kind of the interesting things that I get up to within that month instead of like making too many and them being boring. I'm really worried about being boring. So that's why I thought I'd do it this way. And then the rest of my channel will be like shopping hauls, like B&M, Home Bargains, H&M try-ons, all that sort of thing. So. Anyway, I keep going off topic. Basically, I've bought a new car. It was a little bit of a surprise. Like, we went over to have a look for Ollie for a new car because he needs one for work. And we came back with a car for me, basically. So, we Ollie didn't even get his car. I ended up getting one. I do need one. The car I'm in is really, really old. Um, I love it, but yeah I do need like a bit more reliable car. I ended up going for an Audi S1 which is a really tiny car perfect for the island and it's like a little bit sporty so it's fun too and we went over on last weekend it was last Saturday we got the car like did all the paperwork and stuff and they said they had some work to do to it so we had to leave it there we can't collect it until this week coming which I'm going to take you along with me when I collect it. Um, Anyway, the drama started after that. So I was over there in this car, because like this is my new car, and we signed up to the new car and then we left and we started driving back to the ferry to come back over to the island. And we thought we'll just go to McDonald's because like, we were hungry. So we went into the drive through McDonald's. It was really busy. Basically, we were going through and I came out the end of the drive through and then there was like this row of like parking spaces on the left where like cars were parked and this guy just started reversing out of his space. But I was already like there and I thought, oh my God, he's gonna reverse. I couldn't go back because there was a car behind me. I couldn't go round him because there was a car on the other side of the road. I beeped to try and like let him know I was there but he didn't hear it or he didn't respond to it. And he just kept on reversing. Me and Ollie were in the car like, okay, basically he's just gonna reverse into us we've just got to take it so we just sat there and then he just went bang right into the front of my car um, like smashed up the bumper um, and it was quite scary I think whenever you're in anything like that the anxiety like really gets to you and like your adrenaline st starts pumping that was what happened on the day of getting my car so basically on the same day that I bought a new car we crashed the old car and the plan was I was going to be selling this car um, 
like to pay towards the new car. So now I can't sell this car until it's fixed. It's perfectly drivable. I'm not. I wouldn't drive it if it wasn't safe. I, it's been deemed drivable. It just needs to be the bumper needs to be replaced. So uh, that's one thing we'll be doing this week. I'm taking the car. We're getting fixed. So I'm going to have another car, which is a higher car. And then the next day after I've got the higher car, I'm picking up my new car. So in the space of like two days, I'll be driving three different cars. <laughs> And I'm just like, what? why did this all happen at once? Absolutely no idea. Um, but, you know, hopefully it makes for a good vlog. So yeah, at the end of the video, on the last kind of day of filming, I will be taking you along to pick up my new car, show you around it, and like, have a little drive. I'll set this up in it as well, and we can like chat about the experience and stuff, because we bought it from an Audi main dealer, um, which they've been absolutely amazing. Really, really good customer service. So I wanted to chat a little bit about that. So anyway, um, I turn the camera off now so I can get to Home Bargains and then I will show you what is new in there. Here we are at Home Bargains and it's actually quite busy so hopefully I can get some good like footage of new in. These are the best bath bombs I've ever used, they're really good. You have blueberry ones and raspberry. And these little handmade ones look really nice too, only 79p, these are 99p, and all of these as well. Last time I came in here they had so many Real Techniques brushes and they've got loads more in, all in this like glittery pink colour. They're only 199 each, normally £10, but look how many that you get here. And then all of the Olivia Hale stuff as well, which is, some of this is nice, but these are like a really good bargain. There's also more bits up here, so definitely check out yours to see what they've got in. They also have the Garnier Moisture Bombs 199 and Aveeno stuff in, which is really, really affordable. And like the micellar waters in here are also a lot cheaper, like normally 7 99 but $4.99 in here and they have loads of different ones to choose from all like a lot cheaper these are good as well they've got this really cute sleep wearing as well look at this set here this like silky satin set looks really cute and all these slippers um, they've got some more over there and then some sets up there which look really nice they also have a dupe for the Febreze fabric freshener so I'm going to try this one and just see if it's any better than the other one and I need to choose a new fabric softener oh I haven't tried this one before apple blossom I think I'm going to get the summery one if anyone's interested in garden stuff it's really good in here these things are so good for like blocking anything like ugly you've got in the garden you want covering up they're really good they're only 24.99 also these little trees here I love these like artificial ones I think they look really nice like outside the front door or something 15 pound and the little wooden like fencing bits there look really nice but it is this is like really really good quality I love this so much Oh my god, look at these cleaning kits from Fabulosa. They look so nice. Raspberry. They've got a little minky thing in there. Might get one of those. That does look cool. Got some really nice kitchen decor pieces in. I really love these ones, like with the bamboo lid and the cream. I think that looks really nice. $2.99. They also have all the metal ones, like normal, some marble ones there. I absolutely love these wicker baskets. They're really nice. I love this style at the minute. I think I'm going to get a couple of them and just change up my dressing room by putting these in. I only think these are the $3.99. Yeah, pretty good price. There is a whole bunch of the Wickford & Co candles. These candles are really, really nice actually. Um, and they do smell quite strong. This sounds lovely. Crisp cotton and peony and it's white. So it like matches in with decor and stuff. Really like those. They also have it in some mini ones. These are only 59p each. So I might just get a couple of these um, just to try out. Also on this side, I've got all of the like fake flowers. I really like these ones. I think they look nice. Again, like the same wickery basket thing and then like the poof of it on top looks nice. Also, if you like a bit more colour, um, this is really nice as well. So arrangement in a jar and they actually look pretty good. So a nice bit of bright pink. And those are $4.99. So they have quite a lot of nice like greenery around as well, which I think is lovely. Just like dotted around the house. We have this chair at home. We have two of them actually. They're really, really good. They're zero gravity garden chairs. So it lays right back and they're so comfortable. They have a little pillow on them. 
and you just pull them back and they like recline but they're higher up like not like this one where it's low but i'd really recommend getting them i don't know how much they are in here because i bought mine in b&m but i definitely recommend those for the garden and they fold up as well really easy to store away and then we have the snack aisle oh my god look at all these snacks i do love this aisle because they have all the interesting stuff in these are amazing if you see these pick them up they are so good uh, what are they 99p but they're honestly the tastiest snack like really soft and gooey just so good i want to try this baklava i do love baklava i don't really like nuts but i try and find them without too many nuts in but these are really reasonably priced as well so i don't know which ones to get i think i'm going to go with these more plain looking ones um and yeah try them out Sorry for all my short, sharp clips, but there's music in the background. I don't want to get copyrighted, so I can only do like 15 second clips of each place. But this is the cereal section. It's definitely the place to come um, for your cereal choices, and like little bars and stuff like that. Food wise, I love it. Cause it's all a bit different to the normal places. Coffees as well, like they're all just so much cheaper. Like these are 2 50 for your Kenko. So you can definitely find stuff like a lot cheaper. There's even Starbucks instant coffee up here as well, which is cool. Anyway, I have got enough shopping now, so I'm going to head to the tills and then head home. But I will already have put this whole haul up on my channel. So definitely, I'll, I'll basically link that video now so you can see what I did pick up today. Because um, I just wanted to show you around today quickly today. And yeah, I've got some goodies, so definitely watch that video. I shall see you at home. Right, back from Home Bargains. I cannot believe the wind today. It is so windy that I even just sat in the car for ages when I got home because I didn't want to get out and like try and do the shopping and the doors with the wind blowing everywhere. But I finally got indoors and I'm going to do my nails now. I have just filed off all of the polish that I had left on there. I just use a 100 grit nail file for this. I just find it gets it off and then it also buffs up your nail ready to put the polish on because when you're doing like gel polish you do kind of want a little bit of a rough nail because it sticks on there better so in this little kit it's really nice so it comes all like padded with this pink foam which is really nice so you get this little mini nail lamp with it it's an led one and then it has these little legs on it that just pop out and then you can just like put it down and put your nails in it so it's really easy to use got a little on off button there um and it comes with the cable so basically it's one of the um, usb cables you can put into obviously any plug and then um just plug it in like that and then it works so i'm going to set that up luckily my plug sockets have the little usb cable gap things on them so i can use that and then all you need as well is um some cotton pads and some alcohol rub so i just use any sort of nail polish remover as long as it's got acetone in it because you just need to basically dehydrate the nail so that it stays on um i will leave all of this stuff linked down below if you are interested in it because the color range i think they have something like 800 colors to choose from um this is the one that i had on earlier it is an olive green one i really love this one um you get the top coat and then we've got the base coat. Everything is vegan and cruelty free, which I absolutely love. Then I've got two more colours here. I have this one, which is called Perfect Brown. Then I have this pink one, which is called Baby Pink. But I think I'm going to go for the Perfect Brown colour. It's not as dark as what it looks like on here. It's actually like quite a light brown nude colour. You can see on the lid the actual colour of it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use this one because I love this like murky brown colour. I think it's so nice. So I'm going to do those now. Um, and then I did find, because I tried it out before as well, and the colours lasted me like two weeks, which I think is amazing. Like normally nail polish does come off me quite easily. Like gel polish tends to start lifting quite quickly because I do have quite oily skin. Um, anyway, I'm just wiping over my nails and getting them all prepared, ready for the base coat. I'll change the angle on the camera so you can see me doing them. Is a good day as any 
Okay, nails are all finished. I absolutely love the colour and the way they came out. I think what I really like about this nail polish is the top coat. The top coat is so shiny, like they just look so nice and like really smooth and like I don't have the nicest nails at all, they're really short. If I haven't got anything on them I tend to bite them really bad with nails. Um, so I think actually they've turned out really nice and it was just so easy to use and how like mobile it is as well and the fact you could just like take it away with you if you're going on a long holiday one day. Um, you could like take it with you and fix them and stuff because it's not really a lot of stuff that you need So really really recommend it like I say it's my second time using it and it's really good I'm going to continue to use it. I'll probably get some more colors for like the summer some like brighter colors But yeah, absolutely love it. I will leave it linked down below Um, I if I can find like a discount code or anything like that with anything I talk about I always then go and see if I can find discount codes for you And then I always link them down in the description box so that you can get things like a little bit cheaper So if I can find anything like that i will link it down but yeah madame gam new york i think they have an instagram page as well so i'll leave that linked but yeah that was my little nail segment and i'm feeling a lot better now i love having something on my nails mainly because it stops me trying to bite them which i know is the most disgusting habit so also um the postman has just been and I only ordered these from Amazon yesterday after watching uh, Stephanie Tom, Steph Tom's YouTube channel. I absolutely love her channel. It's more like makeup based, but I love it. She reviews loads of products. She tried out these in her most recent video. They are the Falscara lashes from the brand called Kiss. And they're basically a new kind of revolutionary way of putting lashes on. They're not magnetic, they are glue, but you put the glue like underneath the lash and then you press the lash onto it. So they look like this and they're all separate. Anyway, I watched her video and they looked so good. So I ordered some from Amazon. You can get them on Amazon. I think it was about 23 pounds, quite expensive lashes, I know. Um, but this is the starter kit, so you have like the tweezers, the glue and the lashes, whereas you could just buy the lashes obviously for cheaper. But the whole reason I want to try it is because of the glue that comes with it. So um, I'm just about to film my B&M haul, everything that I've got in B&M, I'm filming that for a separate video. So I wanted to have some nice lashes for my video, so I'm going to pop them on in this video so we can see if these are worth it. But yeah, basically this is what you get. You have your little pair of tweezers here, your glue, you have a bonding and a sealing section. And then these, whoops, are the lashes here. So when I watch Steph's video, basically, I think I need a mirror. A state, my hair is a mess today. It was so windy out, I thought well, there's no point making it nice. Okay, so I will just read the instructions to make sure. So bonding, brush a light coat of bond on the natural lashes, but like you put them underneath. The only thing is I've got mascara on already, so I don't know if it works if you've already got mascara, but we can see. I only want like maybe two just on the outer corner of my lashes. Then you get your little pair of tweezers and just pick up. They look quite long actually. So then I just put the lash on there and you need it at, oh I've dropped it obviously you need it at the right angle so I'm just gonna try and get I don't know if you can see that that was so easy to do but I've like I think I stuck it onto my eyelid oh no you can't feel it right let's do another one so then I'm just gonna put it there My God, it actually does work really easily. Like the good thing about them is you can get it really, really close to your lash line. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but you can get it really close to your lash line. I think two's probably enough. It's just kind of like added a little something to my lashes. Really like that. So I'm just gonna do the other one. Oh no, wait, we have to seal it. So then you just go over with the other end, which says seal and it has another little spoolie on it, and then you just brush. Absolutely love those, recommend those. I'm gonna put the other one on the other eye now, um, and then I'll show you what they look like. I actually can't believe those lashes. I think 
this is like my new favourite thing. They were so easy to do. They're the quickest lashes I've ever used. I have been using magnetic ones, which are super quick anyway, but these are even quicker. I mean, I don't know how long they're going to last because I've literally only just tried them out. Um, mm. But yeah, they are so nice and they don't even look like fake lashes. They look like individual ones. You know, when you go to the salon and have them done, that is what they look like. Um, I don't know if you can get different lengths of them or like different styles. I'm sure you can, but this is just the starter kit ones. Like I said, I'll link them down below. But if you like eyelashes and you don't like them to look too much, then highly recommend these. I think they are really nice. Right, I need to get on and film my other video now. And then, um, yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to be doing today. I'll probably just have a bit of a chilled out evening the wind is so bad I'm not going out anywhere so i'm probably just gonna watch netflix i'm watching american horror story at the minute but yeah anyway i will um probably see you tomorrow good morning it is saturday morning actually it's barely saturday morning i think it's it's 10 to 12 so i got up really late i got up at half past 10 i woke up half past eight because that's when my alarm goes off i just turned it off normally i would snooze it but i just turned it off and then I woke up at half ten and now I feel horrible because I've slept too long. Obviously needed some sleep, but yeah, so it's now 10 to 12 and I'm finally going to put some skincare on. So I wanted to show you my new skincare that I'm going to try today and also my usual eye cream that I've been using from Aldi. Oh, also... <laughs> Do you like my um, headband? It's really cute. It's from Wish. It's so comfortable. And like when I'm doing my skincare, I love everything to be off my face. And I just find this one really, really nice. So the eye cream that I'm going to use is the La Cura Eye Bright Cream. I did a whole video of Aldi, all their like beauty and home bits. So I have got that in this video and also some other bits. But this is like my favourite from there. It's the Avocado Bright Eyes Overnight Retinal Sleeping Mask. But I am going to just use it during the day because it's so hydrating and I feel like my under eyes need hydrating. When I'm going to put makeup on like I'm going to do today, um, I do like to have cream under my eyes, like quite a rich cream because I just find it really sort of moisturises and then my concealer and everything goes on really nicely. So yeah, I've been loving this cream from Aldi, which is, I think it's £4.50, so like it's such a good price and it's got really good ingredients in it as well and yeah I just really like it so we'll moisturize under the eyes and then let's unbox this because I'm just so excited for it they did send me over a nice little handwritten note which was lovely and then it is called so the brand is called love from yours they do have an instagram which is love from yours as well so you can of course check them out on instagram but basically the idea behind their skincare is you do a whole skincare quiz on their website and then they will determine what skincare you need and then send you your kit i think you can buy individual products as well but like obviously it's nice to have a set so when you open it up you get your little skincare regime in here and then here is my little card with exactly what i've got in it so we've got like my day and night routine and then all of the ingredients that is in my skincare which i really love to know what is in it um i also have these exfoliating pads as well but i'm not going to use them today i have already already done a good cleanse this morning so I don't want to exfoliate too much I only did it the other day as well but yeah these are the clean slate exfoliating pads and then it just say on the back of them everything that they do I feel like all I do on this channel is show you skincare I'm obsessed with skincare at the minute I just I already am using so normally this morning I would use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Light Cream, which I really love, but it is around, I mean, it's almost £80 for a bottle. So I managed to get this one at a bit of a discount on eBloggers. That's why I got it. I wouldn't normally spend that on um, skincare. So I'm hoping, because this is, this is kind of like mid-range pricing, but where it's made for your skin. Oh, it looks so nice. So this is the packaging, it's a purple box with rose gold on it and then when you open up your box there is your skincare, how nice does that look and then it has your name just here and then your skincare and the colours are just so nice, I love these aesthetically pleasing bottles 
All of this skincare is made in Switzerland as well. So it's like something a little bit different. It's made somewhere different. It's all vegan and cruelty free. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my day serum. This is what the bottle looks like. And it says that my day serum, so this is a soothing serum that calms skin sensitivity and strengthens the natural skin barrier, a holy grail for sensitive skin. So although my skin is like normally quite oily, I do get breakthroughs breakouts and stuff and like I was saying before when I wash my face actually I think that was in another video I was saying that <laughs> I can't even remember I'm filming so many videos at the same time but when I wash my face I am very gentle with cloths and stuff because the abrasion of it can break me out so yeah this is what they have recommended that I use so I guess I just pump oh so it's a clear serum and non-scented which I would expect for a sensitive skin product I'm just gonna put this on I'm hoping these products give my skin a glow because that is what I like from my skincare I do like it to be glowy I don't like although I've got oily skin I don't like matte skincare because I my skin can be dehydrated I don't think I drink enough water to be honest okay so far so good it's looking nice and glowy sorry if I keep looking in the viewfinder it's because I don't have a mirror here so I am just using the viewfinder to um apply it Okay, that absorbs in so fast. That's already absorbed in now. That's really quick to absorb. So that was the first thing. And then the next thing is the moisturizer. This is called the Due Date Moisturizer. And this one says, it's a soft, creamy moisturizer that melts into your skin so instantly. It moisturize and nourish the skin for balanced hydration all day long. And it has squalene in it, which is uh, like like what's in your skin already. DS Hydroceramide in it, which hydrates tired skin, brings instant brightness. I love that. I want brightness. Um, vitamin E, natural skin softening and smoothing. Okay, let's apply this one. Okay, so this is your sort of white cream. Let's see if it has a scent. Not scented again. I know that non-scented stuff is better for you, but I do love things that smell. So I always miss it, but then I know that it's going to be better for my skin, that it doesn't have any scent. Okay, that is on, and my skin is looking really nice and glowy. Actually, that looks more glowy than the Charlotte Tilbury one. That looks really glowy, but it's glowy in the, and it also sinks into your skin. So when I do like my makeup afterwards, it's not going to get too oily because I do sometimes think that this one probably does make me oily throughout the day a little bit whereas this feels like it's gone right into the skin so I really really love that um so I'll just go through the evening stuff so I probably won't put that on in this video because otherwise all this video is going to be is me showing you like products and stuff <laughs> that, I think I've got a, a shopping problem okay so then I have the drops of youth serum for the night time and that matches the look of the other one and this one is a gentle retinal serum which is safe for sensitive skin and first time retinal users it's a creamy serum with anti-aging powerhouse that refills fine lines and wrinkles and prevents premature aging which is exactly what i asked for when i did the quiz because i do want to start being careful with aging things like that um, and then I have the nourishing night cream, which is called Milky Way. And it is this bottle here. And this is a refreshing nourishing night cream that is enriched with moisture boosting, purifying properties designed to eliminate toxins from the skin, stimulate the skin's natural repair process and, re and protect it from urban pollution. So I feel like I have a lot of ingredients here to like help with different aspects of my skincare. And I just love the way it looks, like in the box, the packaging and everything. You can easily just have this sat on your side or you could have all the bits out and they just look really, really nice. So very happy with that. Of course, I will leave all of Love From Yours um, links down in the description box below. Right, I'm feeling good about my skin. So I'm going to just really quickly do my makeup. I'm going to put those lashes on again that I put on yesterday because I'm in love with those. So I'm going to get all ready and then I'm going to go through all of the stuff from more shopping, sorry, <laughs> from Vista Village um, that I did pick up. Let's show you stuff I've got there, see what you think of it. So I will see you in a minute. Okay, that's a bit better. I've got some makeup on and I've put these lashes on again. Today I put three on, so like three clusters and I just absolutely love them. Like they don't even look like fake lashes at all i'm so happy with them and they literally take like two seconds i feel like all i'm doing is showing you shopping and i think at this point 
it is a problem. I definitely feel like through lockdown I've been so like trapped in and not been able to do shopping and stuff and I'm just really into it at the moment there's not much else going on so yeah let me show you so first up I went into super dry and I got this dress now this dress on the tag it says it's from super dry but it's from the in perfect in perfects range so basically i looked into it and like when they're doing their quality control some pieces of clothing don't quite pass but like there's not really a noticeable reason why but then they sell them for really cheap so i bought this for 19.99 it would normally have been 35 pounds um, and i just thought it was really really nice so it's basically a full length white dress kind of with like lace detailing around it and then all these little bobbly bits on it and then it has lace going around the middle and then it's like layered all the way along with lace and then at the bottom it's kind of got this like frilly little bit around here so it comes down to like just above the ankles and like a really nice loose fitting dress it has a zip on it as well I'm just gonna stand back and show you it so this is what it looks like from here and it, yeah as you can see it's a very flowy dress and I'm kind of picturing like little picnic trips or like maybe going to the beach when it's a bit warmer and throwing this over the top of a bikini or something that's what I'm picturing with it it is like completely cotton so it's really comfortable so that was the first thing that I got the next thing I got was from Timberland you won't believe the bargain you will not believe it my favorite thing in life to do is bargain hunt to get nice things but for cheap <laughs> or affordable is probably the right word. So this is the shoes that I picked up and they are so cute. So they are your typical like Timberland color. And these ones have a little heel on them. And then around the top here, they have this like shimmery sort of leopard print look. And I just absolutely love these. I actually think they would look really nice with that white dress. So these are proper Timberland boots. Normally, £145, I picked them up in Bista Village, Timberland, for £39. £39 for a pair of Timberlands. Like, you can see why I couldn't leave them behind. I had to get them. So, um, yeah, I haven't worn them yet, obviously, because I just wanted to show you them. But there are those. Next place I went was the White Company. And I didn't buy too much in here. I did restrain myself. Like I said... I did go there and I bought quite a lot, but I only bought like affordable stuff. I didn't want to spend an absolute fortune on things, which you could easily do in there. There was a coat in Burberry that I was like, maybe I could buy that. And then I'm like, look at the price tag. No, I can't buy that. So we've got these flowers. Um, these are just a dried flower from the white company. They need to be like left in the sun a little bit and like spruced up and I need to get some vases for them. But yeah, basically it's just dried flower not like very interesting but when these are like dressed up in a really nice vase I love the way they look around the house I think they look really sort of like warming and cozy so I got two of those and they were six pounds each Shit. one of my favorite shops for like bath and body stuff is rituals I absolutely love it so I popped in there and they have a range always in every single ritual shop they have a section which is four for ten pounds so you get four items but like travel sort of size items for ten pounds and I think that's really really good value so I did that and they also added me to like an emailing list or something and I got a free body wash so let me show you so I got the rejuvenating pink salt scrub I don't normally like a scrub with a salt in it but this one smells so good I did use it already um and uh yeah I had to get that one and I think within that deal so you're thinking that's like two pound fifty then I got this spray here which is in the same scent and it is a hair and body spray I'm gonna spray that now actually and I like stuff like this because my hair like I only wash it once or twice a week and obviously after a while it does start to like not smell as fresh so to spray something like that in it is really nice then I got a little deodorant in the Rituals of Sakura scent which is a gorgeous scent from Rituals all their scents are really nice and this is just just like a body spray then I also got a body cream to go with the body scrub in the same scent and then what they gave me for free for my free gift 
was the Rituals of Sakura Foaming Shower Gel. These are really nice actually, they're like the foaming ones that come out. So yeah, all of that from Rituals for £10. You see what I mean? I've gone to Vista Village and I haven't bought crazy designer goods. I have gone there, had a nice day out and not spent an absolute fortune. Spent more than I planned. So this is one of the items I most definitely did not need, but I couldn't, like, see, I've already ripped it open. I couldn't not buy it because I absolutely love gingerbread men. I just think they are so cute. And in at Christmas time, that's all I look for is, like, anything with stags or gingerbread men. I love them so much. So they had this kit, which was, like, to the back of the shelf because it's obviously leftovers from Christmas or something. Um, I paid... £25 for this and I think normally it's supposed to be £36 and it's definitely not something I needed. So it is a little gingerbread man makeup bag which is totally impractical like you couldn't even put anything in here it's just it's like ridiculous but it's so cute it's glittery and then inside you get a little bronzer and a lipstick but look at the packaging. So this is the packaging of the bronzer. Look at those tiny little gingerbread men on it, right? And the best thing about it is it smells like gingerbread. Look, so you even have... Oh, look, there's two of me now. That's just what you want to see. Um, you even have this, like, embossed gingerbread in the bronzer. The bronzer is very slightly like a shimmer it's not a completely matte bronzer it's kind of got a little bit of a sheen to it it probably is too dark to, for me to be honest but i couldn't leave it in the shop look at it i just couldn't leave it behind the lipstick again <laughs> look it's got little gingerbreads on it oh my god it's just really cute i didn't even say these are all from Too faced they're Too faced products and then this is the lipstick it is actually quite a sort of like a, a brightish brown colour if you get what I mean. Um, it actually has apples on the lipstick but it still has the same gingerbread scent as the bronzer. So I hope you can understand why I couldn't leave these behind because look at them, they're just lovely. Okay then we actually went, so we started driving home and we were like right okay I went with my friends and I said right okay we better stop at a Starbucks I could drive through because we don't have that on the island um and of course then we went in there and we got our coffees and like I showed you the cup earlier on in the video so I got that iced coffee one and then as we're just about to leave I turned around and saw these mugs and they're just the best mugs like you've ever seen so um, I'm just going to show you them now so they're in my little Starbucks bag I bought two because I have to buy two of everything for some reason and this is the mug and I'm just going to turn the brightness down on the camera so we can actually see like the colouring on it look so you've got the embossed Starbucks you've got rose gold around here and then I don't know if you can tell but the cup is like marble this is not like dirt it is marble and it's just a really nice chunky mug and I just absolutely love it like I just it's like my favourite mug then we got to the ferry and I was actually quite early, so we said, oh, we'll just pop into West Quay in Southampton. Um, and yeah, so of course, then I ended up having a quick look in John Lewis. Came out with a Jo Malone perfume. So this was a special edition one. And uh, let me just tell you what it's called. It smells really good. I've got another Jo Malone. I don't have many perfumes because I like to use up mine. But my other Jo Malone one I've got is very wintry. So this is going to be my new summer perfume. Um, I got it in the Frangi Pangi Flower. And it is in this beautiful bottle. So it is a limited edition one. And um, the lady did say that the one that I got was the last one in, in store in Southampton. But hopefully they've got some more in store if you do like the Frangi Pangi scent. I love that scent. And it smells really summery sweet and flowery it's just a beautiful scent um so yeah i did have to pick that one up the lady gave me a couple of free samples as well i have a mini little perfume here she gave me and also some english pear and freesia um body creams which was lovely of her so yeah wasn't the plan definitely wasn't the plan i thought when we left vista village i thought oh, it's okay it's all right i haven't spent too much and then, of course, ended up going into West Quay and Joe Malone. And then, oh, 
it's okay I'm back to work now so I feel like I can treat myself so the last thing that I bought is actually a necessity piece because I have been looking for a new coat for ages this is something that I'm definitely not going to be wearing now this is going to be for next winter um but like in the winter me and Ollie go for lots of dog walks we go out in all weathers like you know we don't we're not bothered about getting wet so I just need a coat to wrap up warm and my other coat that I usually wear I have had for 10 years from super dry and it really was getting a little bit worn and old so I wanted a new proper coat and that is when I saw this in Hollister again in the sale um, this was originally £200 and I got it for eighty. I think it was something like £84 but it is the most biggest coat the whole of the inside is like fur lined obviously not real fur really really soft fur it's really thick it's filled with um what do they call it down isn't it like the feathers it's fit here goes a little thing it's filled with these feathers so it's really thick really warm it goes down to my knees so it's very long it's got like pockets all over it it is black with a kind of like mauve creamy beige lining thing here and then the hood is massive as well with fur around it and then also in it like the rest of the coat and yeah I am basically just going to put this one away and get it out next winter it does have little drawstrings around the waist so you can like pull it in a little bit to make it look a little bit more flattering but yeah from Hollister absolute bargain at Southampton glad I got that one but yeah like I said out of everything this is actually the only thing I was really needing and looking for i think now i'm gonna edit my home bargains video from yesterday i know i kept calling it b and didn't i, I haven't been to b and um, it was home bargains i went to so i'm gonna go and edit that now that's probably what i'm gonna do for like the rest of the day it's like lunchtime now i'm gonna have some lunch there's not much else going on today so i'll probably just like maybe update you tomorrow if we do anything tomorrow which will be sunday um but then monday will be really a good day because i'm actually going to the hairdressers um and i am planning on having quite a change I want quite a lot of hair cut off. I'm having some more blonde put in, I think. And then I do think that I want, not a fringe, but like a sort of sweeping fringe. Because at the minute, my fringe is sort of just hanging down. It's not really doing anything. Um, and I always end up putting it back like this with something because it bugs me. So yeah, I do kind of want maybe a fringe, my hair cut off. And just something really different and it's also dylan i don't know how it worked out like this but it's also dylan's grooming day as well so he'll be getting groomed on monday i'll be getting groomed on monday and then tuesday will be the car day picking up the car which can be really exciting so i have some really nice enjoyable things coming up so i really hope you're enjoying the video so far and uh, i will probably see you on monday good morning it is monday morning and i'm just about to leave to go and get my hair done as you can see it is just currently a greasy mess let me just show you actually the before so we can actually see so this is what it's like at the minute my roots got like really dark because my hair grew so much i've had like highlights and stuff in before and this is how long it is, kind of down to about there. Um, and then obviously not much shape in it in the minute because it has just grown so much. The fringe is like just this long flat thing that gets in the way. So it'll be interesting to see what it comes out like, really excited. Dylan is going for his haircut too, but it's like at the same time, I don't know how this happened, but anyway, we both got haircuts at the same time. So I can't even take you there to show you where he goes because Ollie's got to take him. So um, I wanted to show you his before though as well, so we can see like his before and then his after. Just waiting for him to get out now, like Belle's come out. Hello Belly, come here. See, as soon as I give Belle some attention, he will come out. So Belle doesn't ever go to the groomer actually. Her coat just sheds and we just comb it, it's fine. But Dylan's grows. So let's have a look at Dylan. So his hair is really long. Can you see all these black bits on there? They come because it grows. And then his tail, which I love his tail, so we don't want too much, like, cut off that. I do quite like it, it looks like highlights. But then his bum, let's see if we can walk behind him. Can you see all that long hair hanging down by his bum? We call them his curtains, because Dylan, don't go in there. Look, can you see those? Those are his curtains. <laughs> so he'll be going to the groomer and all around his legs as well, he's really hairy, so he just does look a little bit rough we've had these little garden update we've had these canvas bits i was telling you about in some other videos 
put on to the pergola. So now I'll just give you a little sneak peek, but I want to like reveal it when it's completely finished. But now we have this really cozy little area. So there's like the hot tub and then the canvas goes all the way around. It's got a little window in it and then the sofa's down there. Um, and then I've put the little hanging chair over there, but I've got all lights and everything to be going in here. So it will look a lot nicer once I finish, but I had a little go in the hot tub last night and a little lay down on the sofa and was just watching YouTube in here and it was really windy outside and it was like stormy, but it was so cozy. When the old one's gone under the night And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw from within Right, I have arrived at the village that my hairdresser is in so I'm just sort of saying I'm a little bit early which I'm surprised at because I really thought with everything that I had to get done this morning I was going to be late but it's quarter past 10 and I need to be there at half past 10 and I have got a space right outside it's literally just like a few meters down there which is great normally I have to like drive around a little bit to find a space but I've been lucky today so that's a good start to the day the car I've picked up this is the higher car um I've never it's an MG I've never never driven even when I got in it I was like what is it and I was looking around for what it is and then obviously on the steering wheel is where it tells you what it is <laughs> then I realized it was an MG and I thought well I don't even know what sort of MGs there are I've never really looked into them so it's like a quite a small car like hatchback car absolutely fine it was ready for me straight away so I just dropped my car off got in this one and drove here I bought an iced coffee from home the Javi one again because we're addicted to it I think we're gonna have to buy some more of that because we've almost got through the whole jar which is worrying because it's strong but it's so good I put caramel in it today so it's really really sweet and look I have a new cup so this is my cup hopefully you can see it but I got it on Etsy and it says easily distracted by dogs in like rose gold lettering and I just absolutely love it. I'm using my straw from Javi Coffee. Yeah, let's have one last look, shall we, at the hair. Oh, also, this is my new coat that I showed you earlier on in the video, which I said I'm putting away for winter. I put it away and then I was like, I'm wearing it today because it was chucking it down. It was like torrential rain this morning. Now it's sunny, but I just didn't want to risk it. And this has the biggest hood ever. So um, I thought I did not want my new hair to get rained on. So I'm wearing this massive winter coat. But yeah, this is the hair again. You can see a bit better the color now, actually now I'm like inside. Um, so yeah, it really does need to just be cut off, recolored a bit with some blonde. And then I think I'm having a toner as well, which should take away like the orangey tones on it. So yeah, really, really excited. And I will show you when I'm out. So I'll see you in a few hours for me, but for you, it'll be one second. Are we ready for the big reveal? Oh my God, I'm so happy with it. Three, two, one. What do we think? I am so happy with it. Like the color has just come up so nice. Look at my fringe. Ignore my makeup. My makeup's all like melting off. Hopefully the camera's bright enough. It can't see. But um, yeah, this is the finished look. And I'm really happy with it. We've gone like nice and short. So like curled the bottoms under. There is still some like old color left a little bit, which still needs to grow out. But I think she's done such a good job of like blending all the color in. Sorry, the brightness has come up now. I'm just gonna turn it down a bit. There, if I turn the brightness down, you can see the color a bit better and it's just beautiful. And I've got the fringe, but I keep playing with it. Um, but I just love the look of it and I just think it looks more of a style like before I mean this morning my hair looked absolutely terrible so we can't compare it to that but I think like this it's just more of a style and looks like you've made an effort when like you haven't really done much and I should be able to just blow dry it to look like this sorry I keep looking in the viewfinder because like I haven't looked at it much yet and I'm really excited so I'm gonna go home now and I'm not gonna do much for today actually I'm just gonna go home and have a bit more of a relaxing afternoon okay change of plan I've got home and <laughs> I'm so stupid when I dropped my car off and gave him my car keys 
I gave him my house key as well. He even said to me, do you need your house key? And I was like, no. And I thought, why did I say no? I said no because I thought Ollie's at home, but he's not at home. So I'm locked out. And yeah, it's chucking it down. So I'm just sort of sat in the car, eating some snacks. I've just had a little granola bar and now I'm gonna have this, which is like a blueberry bar. So I'm gonna eat that. And I thought I'd just chat to you guys because I feel really lonely just sat in the car by myself, waiting. Ollie's gonna be about 40 minutes. So I thought, well, I can't do anything else other than sit in the car in the rain um, and just relax. So I'm gonna do that and chat with you because I had quite a funny story actually. Also with my hair like this, I don't feel like me. It's really weird. Like when I see myself in the viewfinder, I'm like, who's that? Anyway, my story. So earlier on in the video, you know I uh, tried out these eyelashes, which are the ones that I've got on now, the, um, the like glue on. They're so comfortable that last night I got in the bath and I just got in the bath and then usually every time I get in the bath I wash my face first so then I got my face wash and I was washing and I was like oh my eyes feel weird and I was like no no I've washed my eyelashes off and I look and my eyelashes are in the bath <laughs> and I thought oh my god and um they're like brand new like I literally only just bought them like 25 pound eyelashes they're like the little cluster ones so they were like floating around so I was trying to get them all and then like dry them all and put them back to how they were. I managed to salvage, I had six in. I managed to find five. The, the sixth one went missing and I thought, oh my God, how annoying. But that shows how comfortable those eyelashes were. Like it literally didn't even feel like anything on my eyes. And that's why when I got in the bath, I just like washed them like that. And I thought, oh God, it's clever. It's not clever at all. Are we ready for Dylan's big reveal? He looks so good. Look at that little boy. Oh, you're so pretty, Dylan. You look so shiny. Oh, look at you, handsome. Belle's getting jealous over here, swinging a toy. Belly, we're talking about Dylan. Look, look at this tail. It's so fluffy. And then let's have a look at your bum. It's a bit rude, but let's have a look. Dylan, let me see. <laughs> he's like, oh, look, he's got big lipstick on his face from where I kissed him when I got back. <laughs> oh, he looks so good. Look at round his legs. He looks so neat. His tail's all brushed. You're a very handsome boy, Dylan. Go walk over there then so we can see your bum. Go walk over there. Look, he won't stand up. Why do you keep hiding your bum? <laughs> he keeps sitting down. There we go, look, his little bum curtains have gone. Right, I've not got much else on today, so I think I'm just gonna go indoors, do a little bit of cleaning, and then tomorrow we will go and pick up the car. So I shall probably see you tomorrow afternoon. Right, currently on the ferry now, but it's taking a little while, so I think we're gonna be a bit late. Yeah, we're gonna meet him, he's gonna pick us up in the car, and then we're gonna meet him over there, and then he's gonna take us to the showroom and pick the car up, so we'll probably see you when we're picking the car up in the showroom. So yeah, really, really excited. up with everything and then I'll show you around the car but it is raining which is really annoying so I won't be able to like show you too much but then we'll get in and I'll set it up inside and we'll tell you about it. Look at all these beautiful cars. These are all the new ones. Mine's not new so one day. One day I'll have a brand new subscribe. one. <laughs> yeah subscribe maybe one day I'll have a new one. Right he is bringing it round now but I can't believe it it's raining so I'll show you as much as possible. Um, but yeah, he's literally going to drive it round now. We can take these off, we're outside now. Oh. Hello. Or two for a penny, but they've all gone out the window of this car. And when I feel the wind on my face, all that ever was is a
Off we go. Right, we are heading back to the ferry now and I'm in the new car and it feels really nice. So it is an Audi A1 S1. So it's the smallest one that they do, but it's got like a sporty engine and it's also got four wheel drive. Um, and just a really cool little car. So I'm really happy with it. So happy with the service. Special shout out to Brad, who was our like guy. I don't know what you call them. What do you call it? Sales guy. Sales executive. Sales executive, Brad. He was really helpful. And like when we got the car, we sat in it and he explained everything, how it works, how everything set us all up, you know. So that's all really, really nice. And it just makes you feel special, you know. And with the fact that we've got it from the Audi main dealership, we've got um, two years warranty with it as well. So just loads of cool stuff. I'm just really, really excited. But I think, yeah, I'll probably show you like a full on video um, of the car, like in another video or something. I really want to do a 24 hours in my car. So I think I will do that at some point. If you want to see that video, let me know because um, yeah, I would love to do that one. But I think in this car it would be so funny because um, it's such a tiny car. Like the car is, how long would you say this car is only? A meter. It's like a meter long. But I hope that this was a fun vlog for you. I know that I did so much stuff in this vlog and it was like quite a lot in one video. Um, but let me know if you enjoyed it like that or if you'd prefer shorter vlogs of like separate things. But like I said earlier on in the video, I do kind of want to do more like one vlog a month with lots of more interesting things in it because I don't want to like do any repetitive content or like boring content. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're watching this long, then thank you because I'm pretty sure this video is over an hour long. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. If you enjoy it, as always, please like the video and definitely subscribe if you like to see more vlogs from me or any of the other videos I do to check out my channel. But I really hope that you are having a lovely day, whatever you're up to. I'm gonna end the vlog here and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.